Hello from the worldwide headquarters of the Tarleton, Texas and Texans. I'm Joey Roberts, Director of Tarleton Athletic Media Relations, here with my assistant Ross Baginski. This week is Tarleton Week at LoneStarConference.org, and each day you will get an inside glimpse of Tarleton Athletics, starting with today's interview with Athletics Director Ron Reisman. On Wednesday, we will wrap up the 2010 fall sports season with interviews from football head coach Kerry Fowler, volleyball senior Shay McBrady, and cross country. On Thursday, we'll talk to head women's basketball coach Ronnie Hearn and players Kelsey Benford and Brittany Haley about the season as the Texans are 6-1 and one in the top of the Lone Star Conference South Division standings. Then on Friday, we'll wrap up the week with the men's basketball staff and players Warren Webb and Wally Gunier who are in the midst of a 6-2 and two season. For more information on the Charlton Texans and Texans, go to charltonsports.com and join us each day as we invite you inside Charlton Athletics on LoneStarConference.org. Successes. First of all, we have a commitment from the administration here that they want to have a, an outstanding NCAA Division II program, and you're going to have to have that before you can even step into anywhere where you're going to be successful. Second of all, we've hired some outstanding coaches that have done a great job in recruiting quality student athletes. And, uh, and above all of that, even our Texan club and our booster club, who is one of, probably one of the biggest uh, uh, booster clubs in the nation in Division II with our corporate sponsorship program, our individual membership program. And, and uh, they have just bought into what we're doing, and I think the community also feels like they have an ownership in our in our athletic department here with the, with the crowds that we we have had support us at athletic events. So, you know, football is very big in the state of Texas, and we all know that. And I think we've had an outstanding football program. I think uh, you and I have even talked. I think we might have had more wins in the decade of the last 10 years than anybody in the Lone Star Conference in, in football wins. And they've done a great job. And then. Uh, our cross country team has just seemed to get better every year and then our volleyball team the last two out of three years uh, they've won 20 over 20 games so I think that all three of those fall sports are, are you know just have done a tremendous job in getting our year off to a good start. I mean uh, Ronnie Hearn has done a great job in our women's basketball program I think he's been to the NCAA tournament uh, two times in the last uh, three years or whatever it is I mean, he's just done, he's done a great job they went last year won 23 games the year before before that, they had a good season the year for that. I think they went to the tournament again. Uh, our basketball program is, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've had a great decade of, uh, and a run in the NCAA South Central region. And so I think, you know, uh, both teams have led the conference, I, I believe, in, in, in attendance. And so uh, I just think that, you know, we've had a great success in the wintertime with our winter sports of men's and women's basketball. If everybody's been enthused. Uh, we've had a community behind us. We have the university student body, and it's just been great. Our women's golf program is probably one of the top four or five in the whole nation. They've done a tremendous job. They, they're, they're vying for the national championship every year, and, and uh, we have just uh, some outstanding, uh, outstanding golfers. Our uh, baseball program is, is really improving under the guidance of uh, Coach Conger. Uh, our softball team under Julie Mata has uh, just been very steady in what they do. They've done a great job of being very competitive in our conference. She's been to many conference tournaments. She's been to NCAA championships. Our women's tennis program has just been tremendous under Lance Drake. They have been to consecutive, consecutive, consecutive NCAA tournament championships. Uh, uh, the track and field program has, has been a, a steady. Uh, they always seem to be in the top 25 in the nation, and they've done a tremendous job in, in taking players through the NCAA championships in the spring. Well, I think the first thing I want to tell them is we're here to make sure that we're molding young men and young li young women into fine people, and that's what I want them to know. We're we're or for the student athlete, we want them to graduate. We want them to make sure that they're doing the right things to represent this university in the highest manner. You know, we want to rec recruit quality people, quality student athletes. That can also bring a lot of great visibility and winning tradition to Tarleton. Well, I just think it's been uh, the community and the university have been very good to uh, to me, and they've they've wanted to have an outstanding athletic program here, and uh, uh, they have uh, been very supportive been a great place to uh, you know to be for all the years I've been because of the quality people that support you our booster club is tremendous the people in there are really are, are, are supportive of what we do it's been a great environment it's been a great community to, to watch uh, watch uh, you know my children grow up in so uh, Joey uh, you know it just it, you know it's a place that I want to be at well, you know, when we first thought about going back into the Lone Star Conference, remember Tarleton was in the Lone Star Conference in the what, early 70s, late 60s, and they didn't do very well, and people didn't know if it was a good move or not. 
it's turned out to be a tremendous move for us as our university has grown in enrollment and has grown in stature and visibility. Uh, going into the Lone Star Conference was a positive move for us. And then second of all, we've been very com competitive in the Lone Star Conference in almost every sport we have. And, and I think that, that tradition has is, is been very beneficial to our alumni in the state of Texas and, and nationally. They want to see us do well. We're, we're you know, trying to put Tarleton on the map. I feel we have put Tarleton on the map, not only in the state of Texas, but I think we put them on the map from coast to coast. We've been on national television basketball. We've been on national television in, in football. We've been on uh, clips in national television and women's golf. Uh, very, very, you know, very, very few Division twos can say they've had all that national exposure. Well, it's, it's, it's tr been tremendous. Our fans follow us on the road, and our fans have been here at home, and, uh, it, you know, they have really bought into our program. And I think one of the reasons they bought into our program is because they feel like they have an ownership in our program. They feel like they're a part of it, and we want them to feel like that. And I think any time you can get fans that really feel like they're a part of your team, and then they're going to support you. And, 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 and then, of course, that, that, that fan base also expands because they're out there telling people to come to games instead of me telling them our fans are telling me hey you need to go to Tarleton and see some of the games up there because it's a great atmosphere and we're having a great bunch of time good fun and great place to bring your kids you know, I've always said that you know if you can get Tarleton you can get a student athlete on the Tarleton campus you have a chance to really sell them because uh, our campus is a, is a beautiful campus our community is a community where parents want to send their 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 their, their children, their, their sons and daughters, because it's a, it's a community where people care about our student athletes. Uh, you know, Tarleton is at tremendous academics, it's a part of the Texas A&M system. It's, it, 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 has the, it has the best of both worlds. It's, it's a community of about 20,000, and it has everything here, but if you want to drive up to the Metroplex, you're there in an hour, Joey. And so I, I, I always said it has the best of both worlds, and I think that this is a perfect place for any, any, any student athlete to come and, and, and invest in an education and, and, and invest in getting their, in getting their degree and, and, and have an opportunity to play in an in athletic department that's totally supported by the administration to be very successful and have a chance to win some championships and have some great memories. Thank you for joining us in Charlton Athletics, Director Lon Reisman, for your inside glimpse of Charlton Athletics. Join us tomorrow as we wrap up the 2010 fall sports seasons. And remember, you can always find out more about the Tarleton Texans and Texans at tarletonsports.com.